Bart Kohler, the G250 program director. We're here in uh, Tel Aviv, Israel, and we're looking for the first time at the Gulfstream G250. I'd like to uh, talk to the changes that we've made. Uh, one of the major changes is an all new wing uh, where we've introduced the Gulfstream signature features of a polished leading edge. Uh, it uses a, a wing anti ice bleed air system. Eliminates the boots. We've looked up on the fuselage. We've added the rear two uh, windows here. The aft one will be in the lavatory, and the one just forward uh, will be in the um, in the cabin area. So to improve the natural light that the, that is provided uh, for the passengers uh, in all phases of flight. Uh, we've got a completely redesigned, of course, wing to body fairing taken into. Dynamic effect. Um, the aircraft, the, in, the engines are the uh, variant of the Honeywell uh, HTF 7250. Uh, the target type thrust reverser, uh, and significantly different from what we have on the, the 200. Of course, if you look at the tail, uh, you see the uh, T tail, one of the signature Gulfstream features. Introduced on the, the all new Gulfstream G250. The winglet uh, has been, uh, of course, redesigned uh, to match the new wing. Uh, we were able to get significant uh, aerodynamic benefit um, and reduce uh, the, the overall drag for the aircraft uh, with the introduction of, the, of a new. The cockpit, uh, of course, uh, will utilize the plain view G250, uh, which will be uh, have the Proline Fusion as the basis, but it will also have the signature Gulfstream features of the cursor control device, uh, the standby multifunction controller, uh, as well as uh, some of the other features like Plane Book uh, that we've recently introduced in the large cabin aircraft.